since its beginning, psychoanalysis has been seen to have a somewhat uncanny relationship or kinship with literature, somehow uneasy bedfellows, if you will. And this kinship has been at the center of um, many heated debates throughout the 20th century and beyond. And I won't give you a detailed summary of those debates, but rather offer a certain angle on these discussions that is deriving or that derives from this particular relationship between two, these two writers and um, doctors. And I will start by um, letting these two men talk to each other um, by showing you some of their letters. Because it is interesting, they lived practically alongside each other in Vienna around the same time, um, but their relationship was rather distant and they uh, didn't meet for quite a long time. So I'm starting with um, the letter that Schnitzler wrote to Freud um, for his 50th birthday. Can anyone read and wants to read out? Um, <laughs> so I'm going to give the English translation just um, for space, but if anyone is interested in the German original, um, you can ask me later. Dear Professor, even though you probably do not remember me personally, please allow me to join the group of well-wishers who assemble before you today. I owe your writing so many strong and deep inspirations, and your 50th birthday may give me the opportunity to say so and to reassure you of my most honest and warmest admiration. Yours sincerely, Arthur Schnitzler. Um, 